What's up, everybody? Magic with BraceToDudes.com here to talk about the Grade 3 Futurity Stakes at Belmont at the Big Way or Backwood on Sunday, October 8th. It's going to be Race 5 on the card, a Breeders' Cup winning year for the Juvenile Turf Sprint, and a field of eight two-year-olds going to go six furlongs. Uh, top pick for me, it's going to be a little chalky. I'm going to go with the favorite, number seven, Apollo 10. He's the two-to-one favorite. Uh, he broke his maiden on the turf in his second career start, first time on turf, and it came over this course going six furlongs uh, on September 22nd. So a quick turnaround, but Christophe Clement, uh, not worried about it. The guy knows when he, he's got a good horse, he's going to bring it back. Uh, coming off of this similar layoff in less than three weeks uh, in the last year, 17% winners. 72 percent in the money so just a little bit of racing luck probably would increase that win percentage uh gets clement's top turf sprinting jockey joel rosario to ride so i like that as well so give me the number seven apollo 10 as the top pick as far as winners go i think it comes down to the top two choices on the morning line so it's really not that sexy but the number eight bookham dano seven to two uh, second choice a New Jersey bred that's already won two races, including a stakes against Open Company. Both of them are on dirt, but uh, with the breeding, should be able to handle the turf, I think, no, no problem. Uh, Buchero, just a lightning fast horse, and has been a really great little sprint sire. Um, I think this horse should be able to handle it. He's got a ton of potential. Should have plenty of speed between, I think, the one, the four, and even the seven. Uh, that he should stock. It's just a question of if he handles the turf, but attracts Jose Ortiz to ride. So I like that as well. So give me the number eight, Bookham Dano as the second pick. Uh, underneath, I, I think if you want to box underneath in the a trifecta, a couple horses that, uh, that were really just a, a head or a neck away, a neck away from each other. Uh, the number six, Jimmy the Tooth, and the number two, please advise, they're both six to one on the morning line. I don't really believe that either one of them has got a strong chance to win but I think they both have a strong chance to hit the board and kind of spice things up a little bit for you underneath. They were coming out of a Kentucky Downs uh, stakes race going six and a half, the juvenile sprint. And like I said, they were both, uh, they were ahead and neck apart, but they were behind a horse that won in uh, vote. No vote. No super impressive winner. That day is two for two. I uh, was coming off a win on the synthetic and also uh, the horse that was second Hedwig, a very strong horse as well. Um, so two good horses to be finishing behind. Uh, they showed the ability to pass horses, sit off. I also like that they're cutting back from six and a half to six. And not just six and a half, but Kentucky down six and a half for long. So uh, really, that's like seven, seven and a half for long. So they should be very fit. I think when they need to kick into gear and start grinding after the horses ahead of them, uh, they should be able to close. It's just a matter of, you know, are they going to get the jump on the seven and the eight? I don't think they're as good as those horses, but they're good enough to hit the board. Uh, and trainer Mike Maker gets his, you know, good jockey Manny Franco to ride for him. Please advise for George Weaver. He's been a really great turf sprint uh, trainer. Almost said sire. Uh, uh, George Weaver also in the last year, 25% winners at Aqueduct. So a good stat there. So that's who I like to recap for the grade three Futurity. Sunday at Belmont at the Big A or Backwood Docks. Give me number seven, Apollo 10 on top. Number eight, Bookham Dano. Love the name. Uh, in second, number six, Jimmy the Tooth. Third, number two, please advise. Fourth, that'll do it for this preview. Head over to RacingDudes.com for free picks for every race, every track across the country. This was the last big weekend, and, and what a huge weekend of Breeders' Cup weekend, uh, or Breeders' Cup winning year in prep races. Head over to YouTube.com slash RacingDudes. Got previews and analyses of every single race that was run, along with a couple of grade one races that not official winning your in races, but we know that the, the winners are probably going to be looking at the world championship. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section before you leave. You know what to do. Click like on the video. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash Racing Dudes. Visit RacingDudes.com for free picks for every race, every track across the country. Until next time, good luck out there. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. It's Breeders' Cup season, and we've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the World Championships. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash RacingDudes right now. Click the notification bell. You never want to miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.